Not finished fake news, and the president calling out the media repeatedly uh, today. I, when he said it, I just openly laughed out loud because they are so hostile towards him. And they, you know, all the times that he said yeah. everything that he said about white supremacy and the people responsible for hatred this weekend, it, it has no impact on them. They actually were trying to make the case after he made the comments on fake news. Oh, he just repudiated everything that he's been saying all weekend. And I'm like, no, he didn't. Right. Well, look, I, I, you made a point earlier that I, I really almost wanted to get into uh, in the first segment, and that is what you ha the reason Obama was consistently wrong when he would get into these kind of problems is he took the view of the elite media, which is just wrong. The reason Trump is going to turn out to be right, and as I said, it's the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU, which has said he's right, they didn't say he's right, but they said it is correct to say that the violence in Charlottesville was on both sides. Now, Trump, because he doesn't rely on the New York Times, the Washington Post, CBS News, Trump is actually looking at reality. He's getting real reports from the Department of Justice, and he's also using his head. I mean, he's using common sense. Uh, and I think it's important to recognize that, that the elite media is in a frenzy to undermine him and, if possible, drive him from office in what really is a news media coup against the people of the United States who have elected him president. He's supposed to get four years in office, even if CNN doesn't like it or MSNB doesn't like it. Uh, but they're going to do everything they can to isolate him, drive him down, and try to destroy him. All right, Mr. Speaker, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. When we